Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we are going to tell you about the verbs of change, the verbs of becoming. Why are we doing that? Because next week you're going to have a quiz on it. So we're going to help you. Yeah. yeah? You got a little well, it's not chuleta. A quiz. It's not a quiz per se. It's a it's a story like a test. and they have to Still fill in the gaps. Well, yeah. it's a test. It's a test and then you'll see how many you get right, okay? So th now you, we're going to give you what you can make your chuleta, okay? okay? Yeah, which is your crib sheet, okay? Bien, pues hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. If you like our content, you can help us in lots of different ways and help yourself. One of the things that we offer is that with the first 40 video casts in all of the four levels that we do, we produce help sheets. So you can watch the video cast and you can follow along with the help sheet and then do the homework. It's a great way of pushing your Spanish forward. So we'll put the link in the information. Verbs of change. Okay. Also guys, if you like our content, it would be wonderful if you could subscribe because it's free That's true. and also click like because it's also free and then you'll help us um, you know expand so more people can benefit from our work hmm. okay vale cordon verbos de cambio so we have the first one that we have is hacerse hacerse okay, okay. most of them except for one are going to be in reflexive form mm -hmm. okay so the first one is hacerse hacerse is it verb of becoming? Most mm -hmm. of them are also going to be translated as to become or yeah. to get something. Yeah. Um, this one is a voluntary change. Okay. Okay. So we tend to use it with um, jobs, um, ideology, um, or religion. Mm -hmm. So it's a voluntary change. Okay. Does it does it involve a lot of effort or not? It involves effort. Effort. Yeah, it uh -huh. involves effort. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, you can also use it for natural changes. Mm -hmm. So we have voluntary and natural. Natural changes, for example, to become old. So se se hizo mayor. Yeah. So hacerse mayor mm. or night time. Daytime. Se hizo de noche. Hacerse de noche, hacerse Se de día. De día. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So either voluntary changes regarding work, ideology, religion. So you do it on purpose. You want mm -hmm. to do that. Or natural changes mm -hmm. that you, you can't control. Like so the, the, that's to get it, old. It became nighttime. He became old. It became daytime. Mm -hmm. When I remember that when I was learning Spanish, I picked up my dictionary because I wanted to write to become. And I looked in the dictionary and it went become. One page, next, that, like that. I thought, good God, how, how, how am I going to be able to pick this up? So this is what we're talking about here. Yes. So lots of different becomings, yeah? Also, I have to say that hacerse can mean other things, but we're talking about when it means to become, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're talking about verbs that mean to become. Okay. So that's hacerse. Mm -hmm. Then the next one we have is ponerse. Mm. This one is an easy one to spot, okay? Because this one is an invol involuntary change. You okay. can't help it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Like emotional. You can't help it, and it has to do with emotions, okay? Um, feelings. Mm -hmm. And it's short lived. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's like not, a woomph of emotion. It's like a, or whatever. You yeah. get an emotion. Like, okay. Se puso el hombre se puso muy nervioso. Aha. Uh -huh. So to become nervous, to become excited, happy, sad. Okay. So uh -huh. it's it's like an emotion you get all of a sudden, and then you know it dissipates. So it's reflexive. Me, me puse feliz. Es. Me puse es. muy feliz, muy contento. Um, also, we use this one with. Colors. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ponerse rojo, like oh. to go red. Yeah. Ponerse morado. We talked about this in the the immersion course. All of these verbs. Ponerse morado. 
you know that one, ponerse morado, to purple. Eat, eat too much. <gasps> yeah, etc. So we use it with colors mm. as well. Okay, so that's ponerse. Okay. Next one is volverse. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay. Volverse mm. is also an involuntary change that um, happens after, usually after an incident or something that happens. And then the person changes personality or character mm -hmm. and becomes something else. Okay, so we use volverse. So imagine with the volver is that you turn around like you've become a completely different person. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, also, this is tends to be something that lasts in time. So it means yeah. that that person has changed. It's become yeah. completely different person. Now has become this okay. way. Okay. Entonces, el, el, la chica se ha vuelto muy, muy tonta. Exactly. So when you use this verb, it means that it wasn't he, she, he or she weren't like that before. Yeah. Okay. Something's happened and they've changed attitude or personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would be volverse. Mm -hmm. The next one we have is one of our favorite. Uh, is <laughs> quedarse. <laughs> yeah, the one that most people ask about. Quedarse. Yeah. Can you explain yeah. quedar, quedarse? Okay, well, quedarse uh, means as well to remain or to stay over, yeah, yeah. in other contexts. Um, quedarse we use with physical changes, mm -hmm. mostly, sometimes mental as well, okay? And it tends to be, it tends to be, not always, but it tends to be for the worse. Yeah. Not always, as we'll see, but tends to be for the worse. Okay. For example... Quedarse calvo, mm. quedarse ciego, quedarse sordo, quedarse manco, cojo, ok? Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, physical changes, mm -hmm. so bold, blind, deaf, mm -hmm. it can also be mental, yeah. ok? So, for example, after an accident somebody can become, and then something mental, yeah, that, yeah. A, a mental handicap for example uh -huh. or something like that we can use it in that context as well uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. um but not it's not always negative we can use it in, in positive for example quedarse embarazada mm -hmm. to become pregnant you must have heard that one quedarse embarazada um we use it as well for actions like quedarse dormido mm -hmm. to fall asleep mm -hmm. okay or for um, the the way we feel we feel after somebody's telling told us something, yeah, and then the way we react. For example, quedarse perplejo, quedarse sorprendido, quedarse. Can I say? I, it's like I was left. Me quedé boquiabierto. Ajá, uh -huh. eso es. I see, you know, I was, I was left open mouth. Eso es. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eso es. Me quedé sorprendida. Me quedé... Me quedé flipando. Eso es. So, in English you tend to say, and I was left speechless, and uh -huh. I was left... Hmm? Yeah. So this I was left is usually quedarse. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the last two, uh, we have llegar a ser. Uh -huh. Llegar a ser... I like this one. Llegar a ser is to um, manage to become, to yeah. arrive to be. Okay? So... It's like this, you, you're going to look upwards, yeah? Wow. Yeah. So we tend to use this one when somebody has done, has put a lot of effort to get somewhere, either job-wise or social, socially, okay? Mm -hmm. So, for example, somebody that started off in a bad situation or they were poor or something, and then they managed to become something spectacular. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we always with this one it's always like a, a, you're looking upwards, okay? Llegar a ser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí. So the difference with hacerse is just that to become with hard work, but you've just become, for example, a doctor. But yeah. this one is more like wow, yeah. Llegar a ser. Ella llegó a ser alguien muy importante en su comunidad. Eso es. O mm. ese niño pobre. Llegó a ser el mejor futbolista del mundo. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. It's like, wow. The, the, yeah? the dream, isn't it? The... Eso es. So, it could be 
like I said, about a job or professionally or socially, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just something that you've moved up, yes? And the last one is convertirse. And with this one, we're going to have two prepositions. We're going to have en, convertirse en algo, which is the same as to transform. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when we use transform, we use convertirse. Mm -hmm. Or transformarse, you can use both. So the typical example is... La oruga se convirtió en una mariposa. Sí. Es convertirse en. Convertirse en. En. Mm -hmm. Okay. But also we have it with a, like in English, and that would be to convert to, like a religion, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Convertirse a, o al, convertirse al Islam. Convertirse mm -hmm. al uh, cristianismo. Cristianismo. Sí, convertirse a... So if you're going to say, uh, se convirtió al cristianismo, mm -hmm. can you say, se convirtió en cristiano? O you can say, se hizo cristiano. You can use the verb hacerse, which mm -hmm. is a also a change, a voluntary change in ideology and uh -huh. religion. So yeah, you yeah. can also use that one. So you could say, hacerse cristiano o convertirse al and then the name of the religion uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. but just to go back to that question because sorry I, yeah, can you say se convirtió en cristiano or is it better no to because say, that would be a transformation okay you can say se convirtió a and then the name o al al cristianismo the name of the religion mm -hmm. so christianism or whatever o se hizo cristiano o se hizo cristiano vale Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the case of Christian. Mm -hmm. Muy so, bien, muy bien. So these are the verbs of becoming. Okay, so there you are. So I hope you've noted them down so that you can practice them ready for the test next week. Bueno, Cintia, muchas gracias por ese trabajo. Mm -hmm. Son súper importantes estos sí, verbos. muy importantes. Súper importantes, se usan muchísimo. Vale, chicos, entonces eso es todo. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós.